All right, so the purpose of this video is to help you guys figure out how to best use your time studying to get ready for a chapter test. Chapter tests in this class are 100 points, and they are difficult, challenging tests. This is an AP level class. Um, and the way that I design my tests, the way that they're set up, is they actually model the structure of the real AP test. What that means is it's about half multiple choice questions, and it's half free response questions. Generally, two pieces of paper, multiple choice, one page, front and back, free response, one page, front and back. And with the um, free response questions, you'll typically see two separate questions, one on each side of the paper with several parts to them, generally three or four parts to each question. A free response question will look a lot like the frappy that we would have already worked on to review for this chapter test. So um, we've probably talked about the frappy already by the time you're watching this video. That's what I would tend to expect from a free response question. So uh, now that you know what the actual format of this test is going to look like, let's talk about how you should get yourself ready because you do need to study and prepare if you want to do well. Being smart and just knowing things and remembering everything in the chapter is not very easy to do. You really do need to prepare. So I have here a little list of my suggested order of importance. And every single chapter that we do is structured the same way. So you're going to kind of get used to it here, but then it's going to look exactly the same when we get to chapter one and chapter two and so on from here. So you'll get very used to it. The top priority that I would say for studying for one of these tests is going to be to do the purple test. Now, when I refer to the purple test in our textbook, um, at the end of every chapter, there is a test that starts in purple ink. It's at the very bottom of this page right here. And then it carries over to the next page. The pages are literally in purple in your book. So when I talk about purple tests, that's what I'm talking about. For chapter four, it starts on page 279 of your book and it carries over to 280, 281. But you just go to the end of whatever chapter we're in and find the purple pages. The reason I like the purple test so much is it mirrors your exact chapter test. It's a bunch of multiple choice questions, eight to 10 multiple choice, followed by about two free response. It looks just like your actual test. The answers to the purple test, I don't make an answer key for like I do with the homework assignments, but it is in the back of your book. So you just flip to the back of the book and find where they talk about the AP statistics practice test for chapter four, and you can get all of your answers there. So you check yourself that way. That is priority one. If you only had time to do one thing to study for the test, I would make it the purple test. The second most important thing, in my opinion, is the online test. And the online test will always be linked in its learning. So it's going to be in our class agenda where you can find it, and it'll be just a link. Um, I didn't make these myself. Our textbook actually made them for me, which is awesome. Um, but it's just a bunch of multiple choice questions related to our chapter here. And after you submit, it'll tell you if you got them right or wrong and tell you what the correct answer is. In general, after you get a little bit of free response, free response takes a little while to practice and it's kind of annoying and it's harder to grade your own answers because you don't know so much like what, like it's harder to tell if you got something right. Multiple choice practice is great because you know if you got it right or wrong and you can review a lot of different topics very quickly. So every question is going to remind you, oh, that's about confounding. Oh, that's experimental design. Oh, that's random sampling, etc. And you can hit on a lot of topics and review them very quickly. So any multiple choice you can get your hands on is going to help you prepare for the chapter test. And that's what the online test is all about. So those would be my top two suggestions. The third suggestion I have is called the green test. And the green test is also towards the back of the book, um, the back of the chapter, I should say. It says, it's right before the purple test. It says chapter, what page am I trying to show you? This one, chapter four review exercises. And it's got just a bunch of more homework style, multiple uh, free response questions. But I also give you this guy right here for each chapter made by our textbook. What this document is, it's really cool. Um, it talks about all the different skills in the chapter. So everything you need to be able to do in our chapter, it tells you what section it was covered in. It gives you an example of a worked out problem in the textbook. So if I don't remember how to explain how this leads to bias, I can go to page 213 of my book and there's an example that's worked out where I can look at it. And it also tells me which problem in the green test corresponds to that skill. 
So problem 4.2 on the green test covers bias as well. And then if you feel good about a topic, you've got it, you just put a little check mark in the um, list right here. So this is a really handy document to help you guys understand what's important in the chapter, to show you an example that works like it, and to give you an additional practice problem on a specific skill if you know it's something you struggle with. This little chart right here is absolutely great. Then the last thing I would recommend if you have more time is to go over your quizzes because on the quizzes for each section, I pick things that are really important. I try to pick the highlights. And if you lost points on quizzes, you can go back and see what you did wrong and not make those same mistakes again on the chapter test. Chapter tests are challenging. They really are gonna push you guys to show what you know. Um, they are curved though, based on your, and we'll talk more about how that works after you guys actually take the test. Your job though is just to study, do as much of this list as you have time for. If you feel good after just doing the purple test or the online, it's about how much time you guys have and how much time you're willing to spend studying. But this would be the strategy I would use for each of our chapter tests. As we get deeper in the year, you may find other things that work for you personally, which is good. But for now, this is the approach that I would take.